life. Uh, joining me in the studio now, uh, studio now, very special guest uh, from Nightline with Bruce and Phil, the one and only Bruce Mansfield. Bruce, good afternoon. Good day, Tom. Good afternoon, everyone. It's probably odd for you being on air in the afternoon, isn't it? I don't think I've ever done this shift in my life, Drive. Now, by the way, there's this campaign going on at the moment about trying to get you to read the news on Channel 10 in August, much as you did in the 1970s. And by the way, if anybody hasn't seen it, there's a wonderful clip of Bruce uh, reading the news on, I think it was the day of the dismissal of Gough Whitlam. Yes, it was. And I think it was my dismissal as well. Yeah, 1975, you had a wonderful pair of glasses and a, a very beige, wide lapeled suit on back And there. a lot of hair, Tom. And a lot of, and a lot of very dark hair mm. as well. But, but what about a simpler life, Bruce? I mean, I, I don't know how much you, you make use of modern technology, but do you... Do you think Australians would, would like to return back to the days where we didn't have Facebook and Twitter and mobile phones and the internet and so forth? I don't think we could ever go back to those days. I mean, people do say, oh, I'd love to, I'd love to go back to the old days. And, but they were very cumbersome. For instance, telegrams were the only, mm. the only mode of communication between a, a married couple and greetings from England or overseas. Uh, for any information, you'd need to go to a library and look up reference books and a, a ponderous way of, uh, of getting information. Uh, when I did Top 40 music about 40 years ago, Top mm. 40, you'd have to go to Brashes in the city, you'd go down to Coles or Myers and ask for the Top 40. <laughs> uh, there's no internet, there's nothing to, to type up and get the information. Uh, if, you had, if you had a competition on radio, you'd say, now, the, the first 10 correct entries that come in via letters or mail, mm. you're, you're the winner. So we'd wait for three weeks for that to happen, and then it's almost instant. Well, well it is. Uh, can I say though, I mean, I, I, um, I remember in the early 80s watching a fax for the first time as a, as a, as a young teenager and thinking what, a, what an amazing piece of technology that was. I, I didn't imagine about emails. But um, a, a, as you may have heard, sadly, my, my mother died a couple of weeks ago. And, I'm sorry and I, to hear that too, Tom. Greatly loved. Very kind of you to say that. But I've been inundated by, by cards. A, a, and I've got to say, getting a handwritten card from someone, and thank you so much to all the people who have sent them in, getting a handwritten card from someone is somehow means a little more than getting an email or a text, and it's something that you can hold with you. You know, I, I, I don't think people store their communications anymore to look at them again years hence. You know, their, their emails, and once they're gone, they're gone. But I'll tell you a very dramatic moment in my life. A very a person close to me, a relative of mine, uh, went under the surgeon's knife last weekend. Mm. It was a very dramatic uh, uh, weekend for all of us. But the communication that uh, that relative received via messages would never, ever have been by the spoken word on the phone. Mm. They, 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 were, they were compassionate, they were loving, they were caring, which you would never do face-to-face -face or on the phone. Now, I've been chatting with uh, the producer of Nightline, Simon Owens, and he says that um, your colleague, Philip Brady, is so hopeless with technology that Simon, in fact, has to print out all the emails onto pieces of paper and give them to Phil to read. Is that true? Yes, he does. And, in <laughs> fact, Phil's so dyslectic he can't open a letter. <laughs> Well, simple times may lie ahead, I don't know. Bruce, have a wonderful show tonight. Good on you, mate. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Bruce Mansfield there, one of the co-hosts of the award-winning Nightline program, 8 o'clock each evening, right here on 3AW693.